That flap again? Yeah. Little one. Oh. Rico action. A little bit. I think it's gonna be a good day. Yeah, yeah. Good sign. I'm here with one of the hottest anglers in the whole southern part of Michigan. He's fished 25 tournaments this year. You finished top five 19 times, is that right? Yep. Yeah, yeah, in 2022. And he said to me, if he sees wetness on the seawalls early in the morning, he knows it's gonna be a good day. He says, people think those are turtles. What is it, Gary? <laughs> They're not turtles. They're not turtles. What you got going on there? That's a little yeah. one. A little dancing. A little dancing on the surface. Might be a keeper, but... Nah, I think you got yourself a keeper. And Gary, how deep are you casting there? I mean, that fish come literally uh, off the uh, wall? Uh, maybe eight inches. On the actual wall there? Yeah, yeah. What are you using? I don't know. It looks a like a new bait bit for you. A uh, alley cast stick bait. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Who makes those? Um, I make quite a few of them. Yeah, I don't know anything I've mentioned, but not only has Gary been kicking, he's been a bass kicker this year, but he's also the owner of Butcher's Baits. Oh man, there's another ripple up there. I see that. He's dropping his talons. Oh, and just like that. Just like that. Called a shot. Yeah, little one, little one. Probably another two pounder, just like that. See where he's hooked perfectly? Perfectly And how, how deep was that water up there? Another eight inches, probably? Um, if that. If that, holy smokes. Skipping that same thing under the dock. Yes! Yes! Now, Gary, I've been watching how you work that thing. You give that thing a lot of twitches. Yeah, I do. I mean, you don't let that do a lot of. I don't uh, let it sit. Oh, yeah, that's not a bad little dinker here. Yeah. for a keeper. Yeah, so you twitch that thing a lot, even under docks, even up in the eight inches of water. I like it. One thing that surprised me, Gary, is that you don't seem too concerned with making noise. What I mean by that is your troll motor, I mean, you're not afraid to just turn it 180 at you to slow down. No. I'm surprised by that. That that's this shallow water, these fish are, they can see you for sure a mile away. Especially when we can see them. Yeah, yeah, and it doesn't seem to make any difference for you. And ladies and gentlemen, we are on a body of water. This is not a private pod. Body of water gets a ton of tournament pressure. Yeah, year in lot. and year out. So I, I guess that surprised me. I want you to say something profound and intelligent about it, besides fish are dumb, but uh I mean I'm just surprised. Seven pounder? No. <laughs> pounder and a half. Unbelievable. That's awesome. Even more than a pound and a half, buddy. Yeah, yeah. She's the least. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Holy cow, you just sight fished that thing. It's unbelievable. Tell the world, how did you catch that fish? Um, a little bit of a wacky action. With yeah. A, with another alley cat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's that's part of the story. The other part of the story is that he, he had a little bump on his. Was it your worm? Yep. That's right, your worm. That, that thing, that same bit right there, then he threw a top water over it, and then he then he said, oh, there it is, I see it. Cast it right to it, ate it, ate it. You got a top water butt. Finally. Ooh, it's a good one. Ooh. Oh, he's got that whole thing in his mouth. Look at that. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Show that thing. That's when you know they're eating. 
you can see the bubbles where that fish came from. So there's there's no line about how shallow that fish was. It'll squirrel it there on shore. So he's just killing them with his alley cat worm. Fishing 101, isn't that awesome? Right, fishing 101. And now he's got the pop bar going. He's absolutely obliterating me, but I got an excuse. I've been taking care of the camera all day and drinking my coffee. Sure. Only 8.16. We took off. Uh, I bet we started fishing about um, a, a little bit before hour. 7. Hour and a half. That's his sixth keeper. <sighs> Shallow water, or seawall fishing late summer in foot of water. It's the real deal. Gary just said something I like. I know all you outdoor enthusiasts are going to like. He said it's just like deer hunting. He's stalking his prey. You want to know what's missing on his boat? What he does not have? Fish finders. You know, you need them. You know how much money I could save if I would have had to buy those things? Oh, great. <laughs> As the quality goes. Yeah, that wasn't there. Oh boy, that sounded good. That sounded good. You wanna bring over here? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Not as big as some of the own. Jeez Louise. Okay, my man. It's time to give up the goods here. Cause you you making salt and baits. Oh thank you. <laughs> Now this one I can taste and honestly just a little peaker. A little danger. Yeah, he's not what yours. Not what others. we're accustomed to. No, no, no. Ooh, ooh, that, ooh, that ooh. Sound, did that you sound on sound laying on that fish? Now you got it. Now you got it. Once again, in the very corner there where the dock just comes into the water. Oh, a nice fish there. Nice. Oh, he come up, gave some love to the camera. There we go, Gary. Nice. Yeah. You got one. You got your alley cat going. I got your magnum trick worm going. But I actually cast it out. This guy jumped real nice. But I don't think I got a small, a largemouth bass. Having a he blast not, with largemouth no, bass? No, don't say it. It's blasphemy right there. You don't say it. <laughs> oh, we got stuck in a post. Lose him? There's a post right there. I don't know if you can see it. <laughs> he got stuck in it for a second. And then he come off and broke my line. That's why I got it. I, Gary, I, since you're retying yourself right now, I mean, I use 10 pound braid with 8 pound leader, fluorocarbon leader. Is that what you're using? 10 pound braid with yeah. 10 pound floral. You got 10 pound floral. Okay. All right. Well, he's kicking my butt. Let me tell you, I'm getting motor. I got my first bite. And now it's on. Now sea it's walls. on. Sea walls in late August. Unbelievable. Okay. Just like you very much. Gary, <laughs> you're taking a 30 minute time out. <sighs> I can't catch anything. You're catching every fish there is out here. I'm like, awesome. Unbelievable. 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 I can't even finish weighing your other fish. Unbelievable. Not been fishing. Code. We haven't been fishing for two hours. You got 10, I bet you close a dozen keepers at least. His best five is 11 and a quarter pounds. We've never gotten deeper than two feet. Never. In fact, I think that I mean, even when we were deeper two feet, it's because we were going around some docks to get. Yeah, yeah, I guarantee you that one. 
Unbelievable. These fish are a foot, not even. You got him. So nice one, man. No, I don't got a nice fish, but here's, here's the story behind this thing. Of course, it's right in real shallow water. And so Gary cast up there. You actually saw a ripple. He cast there. That fish bit it, missed it, cast right back to it with a different bait. This being the Magnum trick worm that he makes. Fish in a boat. Fish. Fish. Fish all, baby. Yeah. Might even be Randy Buzz got to keep a fish today. Well, it ain't in the boat, right? I did miss one earlier. Uh, come off right the boat. There we go. Come on. Good I'll fighters, see. though, ain't they? Yeah, they are. I don't think he's calling out any of your bad boys, but again, we kind of got a one two punch here. I know Gary got a couple on the pop bar. By the way, everything we're using, every bait we're using, even the tech we're using will be in the description below. Check it out. But we're starting to get a one-two punch here with his alley cat, which is a stick worm, and then his magnum trick worm here. Both are rig wacky. Yeah. And look all that that unhealthy. Yeah. Okay, yep, yep, not a bad fish at all, sir. Yeah. There are a lot of different ways to catch bass during the summer, but this is a pattern I haven't capitalized on very much over the years. It's going so shallow in late summer. Props to my main man, Gary Butcher, right behind me, who's still up here catching fish and foot of water. Uh, all of his stuff, every, all the tackle he used, all of his baits, links below. Uh, Gary, I can't, even though I should be able to tell everybody, everything that you provide, because you have a humongous arsenal of baits on your website but you got everything from worms to uh flipping baits to jig trailers to swim baits to uh, oh, what am i lots i mean grubs. Yeah, grubs i mean so anyway links are below in the description check on them and there's also a promo code to save you money thanks to yours sincerely also links to other videos on how to catch summer bass obviously this is not the only way this is one option to put in your arsenal Gary, thanks for the day, man. It was fantastic. Thank you, buddy, for coming up. Oh, man, it was awesome. Thanks for tuning in. Until next time, we'll see you on the water.